Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to customize your homepage and different things that you can do to customize that. Now, this is not a what you should do to customize your homepage. I highly encourage you to talk to your users about what they think would be useful, maybe understanding their workflow and what things would be useful to be able to jump into from the homepage and see what would be useful. So. We're currently on the homepage. I am gonna go up here to the gear icon and hit edit page. Okay, so now it's gonna take us to the Lightning App Builder where we can see we have, I know it looks kind of small, um, but it's gonna be small unless you zoom in a lot and it'll be kind of weird. You can see that we have this over here is called the canvas of where we're gonna be moving everything around. And then we have different components that we can add to the page. Um, you can move them around, you can get rid of them, you can add more. So there's a couple different types of components. There's you got standard, you have custom, and then you have custom managed. So standard is just what Salesforce has for uh, most people. So like dashboards, chatter feed, quip if you guys use quip, using rich text field, recent items, that kind of thing. And it's different for different pages, I guess, that you're going off of. If you're on like a lead page, you have the option to add a path, whereas you don't have the path option here. Yeah. And then you have custom that you can develop or have a developer make uh, for specifically for your org. And then you have custom managed, which is going to be things that aren't necessarily out of the box Salesforce. A good example is if you are paying for, let's say DocuSign and you want to have a component or they have a component with their Salesforce integration that allows you to send off a contract from an opportunity page, and then you'd add the component that they developed into your org. That would be an example of a managed component. All right, so a couple of things that I am not a huge fan of is having the quarterly performance up here. Unless you're a sales manager, it doesn't necessarily make sense for that to be there. Um, today's events, today's tasks can make sense. Recent records, key deals. So what I am going to do is I am going to bring up today's events and and then I'm also over here on the side, I'm gonna move the assistant down and then have the tasks and then the assistant down here. I think that's really helpful so then you're able to jump right into what you need to get done today as far as your task load or your meetings. Other things that we have here are uh, recent records and then we have key deals. Now, again, if you're doing this for a salesperson, it's gonna look completely different than if you're doing this for a service person. You don't necessarily need to see recent opportunities if you are uh, a service person because you're not working on that. So another thing that might be really awesome is if you have a flow. So let's go ahead and add a flow down here. So you have a couple different flows that we have active here. So let's take the example that we have here. They created a flow that helps you to create a case. So you are able to do that from the homepage. This would be really awesome for service people who um, they can just quickly create a case from their homepage. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit so then it's something that they see. Another really awesome one might be items to approve. So if you've got approval processes um, and you want to be able to approve them very quickly, you would be able to do that. Other things that we can do are we can add component visibility filters so we can narrow down what we see or what someone would see for that specific component. So if we wanted to narrow it down by um, the recent records that only that person owns, we'd be able to do that with that filter. All right, and then there are so many different types of components that you can add. I think a couple last ones that I do wanna mention are the chatter feed. That also might be useful so then they can see any types of messages that have been sent their way during the day that they can look at in a quick view um, on their homepage. That's something that can be really important for users to see and users to have is kind of what they're gonna be needing to do or have easy access to throughout their day. Other ones could be key deals that we have over here. We've talked about that one using seeing a list view, paused flows. So let's say you had a report charts can be really useful to visualize some of your data. So let's say you are a service user and you just want a quick view of the number of open cases or 
the number of open cases that have been open for over eight hours, or maybe you wanted to see the spread of tickets that are across each priority. You'd be able to do that with your report chart. Um, just make sure that the associated report has the right charting and grouping features. But now that we have this done, again, if you're going to be doing this for your org, make sure that you are going to be setting it for either people or based upon the app. So then that's what they see. Their homepage is right for their job functionality. Their needs are being met and that they can save time when they get into Salesforce for the day, depending on if they're sales or service or marketing. That can really transform a user's experience. So study your users. I'm going to hit activate here. So there are a bunch of different things that you can do as far as setting the assignments of this homepage. We can have this be the org default. So Everybody sees this. This is great if you only have like one type of person in your org. Um, if you only have salespeople in your org, this could be really good. You can also have it be the app default. So this could be just for the sales app if it just has sales. If you want it to just be for service, you could also be just assigned to service. And then we've got apps and profiles. So you can differentiate if I am a service user and I'm in the service app then I want to see the service homepage. But if I'm a service user in the sales app, then I want to see the sales. And you can differentiate that as well. So I'm going to go back and assign it as the org default here and hit save. All right, now we can hit the back arrow and we should see our brand new homepage. So as you can see, we've got our events today, we've got our tasks, assistant. And now I don't have a lot of data because this is a trailhead org and so there, there isn't a lot of data to be used or to be seen. And like I mentioned before, we have this create a case flow that um, is a screen flow that helps the sales user or the service user to create a case easily from their homepage. Let's say if they were on leads for some reason, they would be able to just, if they got a phone call, quickly come over and hit homepage and they would be able to come over and say, hello, this is Emily. Can you please provide your first and last name? One, two, three, A, B, C hit next, and then it would give you the prompt. This is all the screen flow that they have created. That is how you edit your homepage within Salesforce. Be sure to test this out so then you know what users are liking, what they're not liking, just so then you're not breaking and create a rollout plan because it can be pretty jarring for users to, um, let's say, log in on a Tuesday and everything looks normal, and then Wednesday, bam, they see a whole new homepage that they're not familiar with. So be sure to test it out and let everyone know that you're going to be changing it. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the Salesforce courses down below um, in the description box or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.